So I've been doing this for a long time. And I've learned a few things. <laughs> oh, Lord, it's just like that commercial. And here's what I learned. Most people don't want to grow. They might talk a big talk, but they don't really want to. I've seen it my whole life. <clears throat> There's a few. It's probably like two out of a thousand that really want to grow. I'm thinking about... Okay, so out of 10,000 subscribers, it's like I had 10 that were serious about growth. That's about one out of a thousand. One out of a thousand really are serious about growth. Now, ain't that something? Ain't that something? And the Bible even says that. If I quote the verse, it upsets people. Solomon was looking for looking for somebody that was dependable, faithful, that was he could trust. And he said one out of a thousand. He said he found one man out of a thousand that he could depend on. He mean he looked he I guess he was looking for somebody to help build his kingdom or whatever. <clears throat> one out of a thousand that he could trust. Do you understand what I'm telling you here? If that's true, what is a person, a person you can trust? What are they, what are they? They're people who are growing on the inside. They're people who have an inner, an inner goal of growth. Growth in the inward man. <clears throat> Cause trust goes back to faithful and truth and if the heart's right truth faithful trust whatever you want to call it if the heart is right the seven spirits are going from the throne of God seeing whose heart's right by him do you think God is going to let you not grow God, the whole purpose of being here is sanctification. It's a growth process. But most people get caught up in a <clears throat> in a denomination or a box way of thinking or a system, and they think they arrive. So they they get in that little box and they think they've already arrived, and there's nothing new to learn. You know, that's how most people they get stuck in a box and they never grow. The purpose of trouble is to push you out of the box, to push you out of the womb of some box that you're in. The purpose of the pain, the purpose of the trouble is to push out the baby. That's why it's called labor pains. To push you out of a box, a denominational box, a cult box, an ism box, of a box of your own making. Most, most of us live in our own boxes, right? Until God shakes it shakes it up and we have to leave the box the box life we have to start walking by faith you unfold the box and you see a cross and you have to enter that by faith because think about it 5d realm so you're you're walking around in 3d you know the 5d realm exists how how by faith you can't see it but you see the result of it the wind is blowing, but you can't see the wind. You know the wind. Well, how do you know the wind is blowing? Because the trees are moving. I hear it. The, I hear the trees moving. I, I see the wind because the trees are moving, and I hear it. I can't see it, but I know it's there. It's by faith. It's all by faith. It's by faith. It's by faith. You're not going to escape. the box life except by faith because you end up creating another box and another box and you'll run to another here's what most people do they run they leave one box <clears throat> go to another box leave one box go to another box and they they have the same problem in that box that they had because it's still the box i don't care how big the box is or how small it is it's still the same problems 
Let me get, let me, st I gotta stop this because I gotta take something before it rains. But anyway, I'm, if you, if you cross my path, because I ain't gonna stay stagnated. If you cross my path, you gonna grow. Because I'm not staying stagnated, period.